Hi children, this is Auntie Mariana and today I'm going to read to you from the book African Animals, Rhymes and Recipes written by Tracy Going. Yes, you heard right. At the end of the story, there's a recipe which you can ask your parents to help you with. For W, it's Warthog. Did you know that the warthog is the only pig able to live without water for several months of the year? It has a higher than normal body temperature and it is believed this enables the warthog to conserve moisture in its body instead of using the moisture to cool itself down. So your first letter is W. W is for wandering weathered warthog. An African swine, a rather wild, wicked hog. In various shades of black, grey or brown, its coarse, bristly coat is no elegant gown. They might look savage and terribly fierce. They'd rather run than fight, stab or pierce. The tusks are there for more than just show. The warts protect from any attacking blow. Their eyesight is not very good, with that said, probably as they are on the side of the head. They bullet and bolt around at a high speed, a quick running start from danger indeed. To eat they kneel down on bent front legs, snouting and shoveling for nature's dregs. All part of the mad feeding frenzy one sees, Let's make a warthog rap. What a breeze. Warthog rap. You'll have your own feeding frenzy with this wonderfully healthy meal. Your tools will be a chopping board, a spatula, a knife, a frying pan. And you'll need a one ripe avocado, 200 gram halloumi cheese, 200 grams of humus, one crispy iceberg lettuce, one punnet cherry tomatoes, four tortilla wraps and olive oil. To make it, you slice the halloumi cheese into eight strips, heat the frying pan over a medium heat and add a little olive oil. Fry the halloumi until it's golden brown. Peel and cut the avocado into eight segments. Finally, slice the lettuce into strips. Cut the cherry tomatoes into quarters. Smear the tortilla wraps evenly with the hummus using the spatula. Evenly divide the rest of the ingredients onto the wraps. Roll up and eat. Now to X for Xerus. Xerus, the ground squirrel is active during the day and comes out of its burrow about an hour after sunrise in the summer and half an hour later in winter. It is not so active when it is wet and windy and stays underground during sandstorms. X is for exciting and extraordinary Xerus, a ground squirrel science named or genus. From a distance they look so fluffy and cute, but their coat is actually a short, bristly suit. A brown or red-grey, they are quite a sight, with big round eyes ringed in bright white. Its tummy and inner legs are soft vanilla, a speckled bushy tail used as an umbrella. Sunbathing with bellies flat on the ground, Arms and legs are stretched out all around. To cool themselves, they lie flat in the shade, flicking sand on the back, the tail, a spade. Look carefully and you'll see no outer ear, but they have no problem to listen or hear. Unlike other squirrels, they don't climb trees. For Zera's extras, you'll say, more please. And did you know that Zerus Extras, a most delicious way to nibble the afternoon away, <laughs> you will need large ovenware dish, a chopping board, a knife, a grater 
and one bag of plain corn chips, two large tomatoes chopped, one large onion chopped, one tub of guacamole, one tub of sour cream, 150 grams grated cheddar cheese. To make it, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, lay the corn chips in an ovenware dish, cover with the grated cheese, place in the oven for about 10 minutes, mix the tomatoes and onion, take the chips out of the oven when the cheese is melted, place the tomato and onion mix, guacamole and sour cream on the hot chips. A great snack any time of day. And now we go to Y for yellow baboon. Yellow baboons travel in very large groups and anywhere from 8 to 200 are found in a troop. The strong males lead in the front. The females and babies are found in the middle and the weaker males follow at the back. Such an interesting fact about the yellow baboon. Y is for yelping, yowling, yellow baboon. Always smacking its lips, what a buffoon. A pointed nose and hairless face so black. Strong jaws and heavy eyebrows so slack. With a tail almost as long as its slim trunk. And yellow grey fur, a good looking hunk. Walking great distances over the ground. Hiding in trees, not seen, heard or found. Otherwise, it's a very big noise from dawn. Barking and yelling, they grunt and yawn. Baboons drink water each day they prefer. If not, they lick the night dew from their fur. Being rather intelligent and crafty of mind, baboons will eat whatever food they find. Roots and fruits are best as a rule of thumb. Let's make the yellow baboon yum yum. Mm, yellow baboon yum yum. Baboons love tubers and roots. Potatoes give you lots of energy. Your tools for making yellow baboon yum yum. Chopping board, a knife, a grater, foil. And you will need to make it four large baking potatoes, four sprigs of thyme, four spring onions, 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of grated cheddar cheese, salt and pepper. First preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Wash the potatoes well and wrap in the foil, the dull side outside as the shiny side reflects the heat. Bake for 45 minutes or until soft. Chop the thyme and the spring onions and mix with the grated cheese. When the potato is baked, remove the foil, cut and halve and smear with butter. Season with some salt and pepper. Cover with the chopped thyme, spring onions and the grated cheese. Enjoy! Now for our very last letter. It is Z. Z for Zorilla. Yes, indeed, the very smelly Zorilla. Did you know the Zorilla is one of the smelliest animals found on Earth? Although it isn't particularly big or vicious, it doesn't have many natural enemies because it stinks so much that other animals would rather stay away from it. <laughs> Z. Z is for the Zuti, Zany, and Zippy Zorilla. A striped polecat, not a type of gorilla. It has long black fur and very soft coat. Thick white stripes, except on its throat. With stubby legs and a very long snout. A springy fast trot when out and about. Often alone, it loves to wade and swim. It never climbs trees or is seen on a limb. With sturdy claws on the feet, I do say, perfect for stalking and pouncing its prey. 
If alarmed, it raises the hair on its back, lifting its tail, looking bigger on attack. If scared enough, a smelly fluid it will spray, enough to ruin any lurking enemy's day. It hunts at night and in a day it'll rest. To end this book, we make a Zorilla zest. Zorilla zest. It will add zing to any light lunch. You will need a juicer, a chopping board, a knife and a glass jug. And to make it, five juicy lemons, one liter soda water, four teaspoons caster sugar or fructose, and fresh mint. Cut four of the lemons in half and squeeze all the juice out. Add the sugar to the lemon juice. Combine with the soda water. Cut the last lemon into slices and add to the juice. Pop in the fresh mint. Pour into the glass jug and serve and enjoy. So that is all for today. Until next time with a new story because we got to the end of the alphabet. So it's goodbye for now from Auntie Mariana. These stories are read by Mariana Lawrence with permission from the book African Animals, Rhymes and Recipes, written by Tracy Going and published by Penguin Books. A percentage of the proceeds from the sale of this book goes to Child Welfare South Africa. And remember, if you want a copy of any of the recipes, you can WhatsApp Auntie Mariana on 083 657 0113